Hi everyone, and welcome back to Planting for Wildlife. If you want a low maintenance, drought resistant plant with beautiful colour and texture that's also great for pollinators, look no further than Statues Byzantina. Statues Byzantina is an evergreen perennial from the mint family that's native to Iran, Turkey, Armenia and Azerbaijan. It's a great plant to have at the front of your border so you can get down and feel the beautiful texture of the soft leaves. Kids always love this plant. It also clumps up really quickly and can be divided aggressively in spring or autumn, making it a really economical plant to have in your garden. The plants I have in this garden were all divided from one clump into about 10 last autumn. It has little purplish pinkish flowers held on spikes around 50 centimeters tall that flower from May until September. They're really popular with pollinators. There's also one species of bee called the wool carder bee, one of Britain's larger solitary bees, which uses the little hairs on the leaves to make a soft nesting chamber for the female to lay her eggs. Looking at my top three companion plants, I'll start with Salvia nemorosa caradonna, although I feel like I'm cheating a little bit with that one because in my mind it pairs beautifully with pretty much any other plant. Second would be sedums, and especially dark purple colored sedums like Jose aubergine that I have in this garden. That'll contrast really nicely with the silver of the statues and also give some really nice interest earlier in the spring with its dark colored foliage, but then flower much later in the season. Third, any purple allium is gonna look really great with your statues. I've got drumstick allium in this garden, which I think pairs really nicely and is an absolute magnet for bees. You could also use purple sensation that I did a video on earlier in the spring. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop it a like and subscribe. If you haven't seen me on Instagram, it's mjdearman underscore photography. Until next time, enjoy the wildlife in your garden.